Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education and today we are going to learn about a topic, be a good listener. So let us go ahead and read this and read it. It is important to be a good listener when you are learning a language or when you are dealing with other people. So it's saying if you are learning a language or you are dealing with many people, you should be a good listener first. Because then you can only give your ideas. Are you a good listener? You can find it out with the help of following questions. 1. When you are listening to someone, do you look at the people or, or do you turn your head away or toy with something else? Good listener, look at the speaker. So good listeners always look at the speaker. That is, they should maintain in an eye contact with with the speaker do you pay attention to what the speaker is saying good listeners pay close attention to the speaker so good listeners if you are if you if you want to be called as a good listener you should pay attention to the speaker's voice what the speaker tells tells you it doesn't mean that you should have to write everything in your notebook. You should be a good listener. You should captivate what they are saying in your brain. 3. Do you make any special effort to understand the speaker? So the third one is that any any effort which are which is being made by you, do you do you think mean that you are doing any special effort? What your speaker is saying to you, what he is delaying to you, del delivering to you, what he is delivering to you. Here are some of the things that will help you understand the speaker better. Some words, some things that you must listen to so that you can understand your speaker. If you hear some new or unfamiliar words, try to guess their meaning from their context. So what he's saying, if you hear some new or unfamiliar word, unfamiliar word means that is not familiar with you, which you don't know. So try to guess their meaning, you know, while speaker is telling something. In, so if you don't know the meaning of some word, so try to guess their meaning from the context, what he is telling, what the topic is about. You should guess as from that only. You can try to guess what the speaker will say next because if you try that then you can tell us what the other line would be of speaker what the next the speaker will be going to tell you try to keep listening even when you feel that you do not understand the speaker or even when you disagree with the speaker wait for the speaker to finish what he's saying then you can get your doubts clarified by asking polite questions means it's not like that. If you're listening something, you should not be like, oh, I don't want to listen at all. The expression, that, there are many expressions. You should like, oh, I do not want to listen. How bad he's telling. I don't want to listen. I'm feeling sleep. These expressions, you should not maintain. So, this, so you should not maintain all these expressions. What you have to do who is wait for the speaker. If he finished that, then you have to just ask his ask him what he's doing, what he's telling, in in very polite manner. Even when you are disagree with the speaker, if you are disagree with the speaker, you can't then say this. Stop! I want to ask you a question. I'm not agreeing with you. You can't say these things. When you, the speaker has finished finish, then you are allowed to ask the question. Do not feel shy or afraid to ask question if you do not understand what is being said. But your question to the put your question put your questions to the speaker politely. You know the people I have seen many people who feel shy or afraid to ask questions because what what they thought is what the other people will be thinking. Fine, you fine. It's it's not that you should think of any other people. Because everyone don't know many things. So, oh, 
If you don't understand anything, don't feel shy. Ask question, but in a polite manner, not in a rude manner. You are wrong. I don't like it. And this is not the right manner. The right manner is, you are wrong, sir. I want to ask this is, and you are saying, in this line wrong. This line is incorrect. This is the polite manner. Sometimes it helps to note important words or points even as you listen. Sometimes when you listen, so you get a point or words which are very important. You when someone delay his or her speech, is very few points is you should you should have not listen from anywhere and that captivate your brain to just think of these words. What are these words? How can I enhance from these words? Lastly, it also helps to keep thinking about what you heard. You may grasp, you may grasp the meaning of a difficult word or phrase later on. So, last, lastly, at last, you should keep on thinking what you heard. Basically, you know, our human being, in we the human being are just in the brain, just in the sense. We want to know everything. What the idea other put on, we want to know that thing. So what you heard, it just inculcate in your mind and you want to know what the word means. You may grasp the meaning of difficult word or phrase later on. Because if you just listen, and you may have that word in your mind. And then you will be saying, oh, these are difficult words. I am knowing myself. And then you can enhance your speaking or writing skills later on. So let us read some points which is written in here. The two people are talking, the two children. Please bring me the vase that has pink roses. It's on the dining table. A boy is saying to a girl that bring the vase which is in dining table that has a pink roses. Vase means a vase means a kind of pot. Here is the matching for you. So listen, vase means a kind of pot. You know you have seen in vases of mitti. Mitti ke ghade dekhe honge. Mitti ke pot. Arthen view call us arthen pot for them. So this is a vase. It may be of glass it's maybe of sand or you can say earthen anything you can see a pad of roses here 